Hello all, uh, this video is going to be on uh, personal uh, encryption, like folder or file and or file encryption inside Arch Linux of course and the XFCE desktop or whatever desktop environment you're running. I finally settled on, uh, despite its um, maybe security vulnerabilities, I finally settled on ENCFS uh, from the Arch Linux. Uh, Pac-Man repository, the default, and I'll explain why um, in a bit. So, as usual, um, unless you have a GUI installer, uh, I just use a pseudo Pac-Man or an alias. Pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S, an alias is Pac for me, whatever you want. It could be INS, anything. So, um, EN, ENCFS. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to install. And to create your first encrypted folder, it's very flex flexible. That's one reason I like this. So you just type in ENCFS and tilde slash dot, and it's going to be a dot file. You can call this uh, anything like a folder, and then out to a readable folder. It's going to ask you if you want to create those two directories and what you want to use for uh, encryption. So once you press enter, uh, dot folder doesn't exist, so you say yes. And folder doesn't exist, say yes. And please choose one of the following options. X for expert, P for pre-configured paranoia mode. Anything else or an empty line will be selected. We'll select standard mode. So I usually go with P. Paranoid mode. And you type in uh, your encryption password. Uh, if I'm trying to think of something here. And you uh, have to supply that phrase twice. Yeah, you have to give it a second because it actually mounts the system. And you go to your file manager. Sorry. Not file, man uh, file manager. And there it is, folder. And you press Control H on your keyboard to unhide, and you see the dot folder is right here. And there's the encrypt XML file. All right, so you can uh, go back to normal mode and just uh, open the folder and put uh, just for uh, demonstration and uh, another folder, whatever. Okay, so while it's there, you can, uh, if you don't want uh, this showing anymore, um, when you're done with encrypting the folder, okay, you can just uh, type in fuse. I, I'm pretty sure most uh, Linux install, uh, Arch installs come with fuser. Uh, the command is fuser mount dash u and just the name of the uh, visible folders in this case just folder and go back to your home and you can actually delete it if you want but if you control H and look at the dot folder you can see there's encrypted uh, folders and files and it's flexible in the way that if you want to do the ENCFS dot folder, you can call it something else like um, text or something. I don't text anything. You can call anything. And you want to create it. And this time you just supply your passphrase uh, once. Give it some time to mount. This is a virtual machine, by the way. And home. And there's text. And there's the file. Uh, the folder and the empty file. So again, uh, this time to unmount, instead of uh, folder, it's uh, T-E-X-T. All right, pretty straightforward. So I've made some notes here. Uh, these are just examples. You just uh, install it through Batman. There's also a GUI, which is kind of neat, actually. Uh, you can get it uh, directly from the Arch Linux user repository and compile it, or you can use Yowart. And it uh, does compile a, a couple of uh, 
it does download a few dependencies, so in the terminal, Yawar and it's uh, GNOME E. It doesn't matter. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be using GNOME shell. GNOME uh, E N C F S dash manager. And there's two, but the first one um, I'm going to use in this case. So uh, the usual drill: edit, edit, no, and continue building and uh, dependencies. Then uh, this libg06, whatever it is, and continue building that. More dependencies. All right, then uh, finally you get to the installed folder. I mean the installed package. Sorry. Once it's installed uh, and you run it, it's not in so obvious. It's down in the bottom right in your icon tray, system tray. You can click add here, and you can already you can then. Uh, instead of using the default, you can use defaults if you want. You know, make a dot private folder and an encfs private, but you can import basically from your home folder. So just press Control H and whatever we call that dot folder. You click open and output, and you can uh, Control H. Just cancel out of that for a second. Uh, go into your home. For example. This, if you want to do, you can go like documents and make a new folder, eyes or something. Any, I don't know, anything you want. And then browse in your uh, documents, eyes, open. And then import. And then click this button here and it'll ask for your password you made with the command line based. And it should mount but in a different uh, folder the visible folder so documents eyes and there's the stuff we had okay a uh, couple other things is uh, I think under manager preferences automatically uh, start a login unmount stash as they call them uh, the directories on logout you can have the tray icon or not have it and advanced uh, I would leave this most of this stuff alone and uh, so if you get it to start a login it's going to ask you for a password so if you don't like that you just untick that if you don't need it to be readily available another use is uh, you can actually throw like your browser profile in so I made a backup of the Mozilla just in case, and there's a dot Mozilla folder, and probably better to do this in the uh, terminal. So, move mv uh, tilde slash dot Mozilla to slash uh, documents. Oh, I got to put the tilde. Sorry about that. To that. Uh, new folder and then a new folder called Mozilla, which would be visible. Give that a second. Then ln dash small s uh, the uh, slash documents uh, i is Mozilla press tab to tilde slash dot Mozilla and you see here it's uh, where is it should be a sim link oops there it is just had to refresh so if you click properties to show you where it actually is link and uh, target and the actual locate of uh, the location okay So right now, if you open Firefox or whatever browser, it's working. Now, if you click on here, show manager and unmount that. Open Firefox. It's not going to find it because it's in the uh, encrypted folder. So remount your password. Open Mozilla or Firefox, whatever you want to call it, Mozilla Firefox, and there it's back. 
So the option to when we go to manager preferences automatically start on login. You probably want that if, if you're going to encrypt something like a, a browser. So I'm going to get out of full screen mode. This is uh, uh, a virtual box. And I'm just going to restart and we'll just, you know, see how it reacts. Apologies, uh, my mistake is the configure the selected stash mount at startup. And there's other option mount when getting available and other things. Unmount after idle, after five minutes or whatever you want to choose and so on. So I'll close that and try a re, uh, another restart. Okay. So after logging in, it wants the uh, password because we told it to uh, mount at startup. So I typed in the right password. There. Okay. So best test and make sure Mozilla is there. Firefox. Sorry. And there you go. So you have uh, a little control over. Uh, I like the flexibility of the ENCFS. Okay, and the final uh, decision not to use ecrypt FS, even though it might be a little more um, safe, is uh, the person that created the simple uh, method of using this is under the warning, I lost data with the ecrypt FS and can no longer recommend it. As far as I can tell, this is not due to ecrypt FS. Uh, so anyway, in the long run, um, I, I've switched back to ENCFS for my data. And yeah, I did experience, uh, before I tried uh, the simple one, I did experience uh, loss of data. And luckily, I was just experimenting. So that's why, basically, I chose to use ENCFS. And uh, it's mostly cause it's, it, because it's uh, flexible. It's so easy to use and it survives a format or a secure erase as long as it's backed up, of course, um, to another hard drive or to a cloud or to a USB drive. It will survive that and you just reinstall ENCFS and just call it from your backup or whatever. It's so it's very, like I said, it's very flexible and easy to use. All right. Uh, I think that should pretty much do it uh, you can you have an option to hide the icon if you don't like the uh, that showing I believe oops keep hitting that manager preferences oh, yeah show icon there it's gone so you won't see that again the only time you see it if you have if you want it mounting at startup is just we'll just see the uh, password passphrase screen okay so uh, that's this is a follow-up on um, uh, DM crypt on uh, simple volume uh, local volume management uh, uh, made a few videos back up a reference to that so this is like personal encryption okay as I explained in the beginning so that should do it for this one and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now